Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. And I know it's almost been two years since I've done this, but we back. And I'm gonna try posting more consistently from now on. But in this video, I'll be talking about how to actually clear angles and hold angles. Most of these tips I'll be showing you will be coming from professional Valorant pros such as Sentinel 10s and 100 Thieves Asuna. I'll be showing you clips and explanations of how to actually clear and hold angles. As you can see, the background footage is being played on the PS5. And this is the only background footage I have to make this video, so I'm sorry for that. With that out of the way, let's start the video. Make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you can get notified when I post a new video. The first thing I wanted to share with you guys is to be aware of what angles you are being exposed to. Holding angles that expose you from two different sides will almost guarantee them killing you. Because agents such as Breach and Yoru can flash and peek at the same time, and you can't really do anything about it. Holding an angle with only being exposed to one angle will almost always come down to who has the better aim. And if you're playing an agent like Reyna, then you could dismiss out faster than the opponent can shoot you. Another thing I wanted to share is to isolate your 1v1s. You don't want to get picked off by swinging mid while not checking your corners, which can be someone in there. I'll be showing you an example of what I mean from footage by 100 Thieves Asuna. Yeah, I'm going to cat. Don't receive. Nice shot. Cat looks clear. Nice no no there should be like one on B side right now. No big cat. No big cat. I'm getting caught by mid. Nice. That's a good. You think I'm just gonna let you drown like that? Like. As you can see, he is clearing corners one by one and jiggle peeking. This paid off by him winning the round. In this footage, he doesn't really expose his body and makes it so he shoots before the enemy can have good cross replacement. In this clip, he doesn't panic by missing his first three shots. What he does is to keep counter strafing and not insta crouching. Insta crouching basically means you are committed to that fight, and insta crouching from that far doesn't really do you good. Insta crouching basically means you are a sitting duck and can't really escape or leave that fight anywhere. Another thing I wanted to share is from the pro player named Sen Tens. I will roll the clip right now. Okay, wait, this guy swings. Yeah, so like, nice. normally I would hold like that. I actually just need to start holding like this for now on. Because if someone juggles me, worst case is he can't kill me and I don't shoot. If he swings me and I'm holding like that, then I he swings past my shots and I die. So I'll just hold for the wide swing and that should work most of the time. He basically talks about not putting your crosshair too close to the wall because if the opponent jumps and you shoot and miss then he will have the advantage of wide swinging you resulting to a death holding an angle like what tens was doing is also good because if you are a chamber with ult and you miss a shot then you're basically screwed so don't rush your op shots another tip i have is to always pre-aim your angles because swinging an angle while not having your crosshair on him already means you are basically dead. Because whoever has the better crosshair placement usually always wins in a Valorant fight. The last clip from Tens actually summarizes how to hold angles and everything we talked about in this video. I will roll the clip right now. So when you're holding an angle, if you can hold... So if you think that they're going to walk up on your angle, you hold a tighter angle. If you think it's an angle where they swing, you hold further away. When you're far enough where they um, you can't hear the sound of what they're going to be doing. So if they're running, just assume they're going to wide swing. And that should like help with like angle holding and stuff. So like, let's say, let's say like right here, I'm actually not too sure the distance from here to here, but let's say right here, I can't hear the sound. I'm not going to hold like this because if this guy like walks then i'm lucky but like if he swings around the corner i'm kind of fucked and it's a lot easier to just have your crosshair over here where you can react shoot or if he walks in you just flick backwards not too much to say in this clip because he actually explained really well and clearly last thing i wanted to show you is some angles on some of the maps that are off angles and can get an easy pick let me roll the video the first off angle is on c haven defending the most common corners here is next to this box and next to the screen box because in their point of view this is the first thing they would look at either here or in the screen box but my off angle i want to show you guys is over here on top of this box and this works with a sniper with the op i would look at here because no one would actually check this and if they do you have that one shot and you could just dismiss out of there if you're arena or jet just like this there's nobody really there, but you get the point. If they peek you, 
they're basically dead and you could just dash away or dismiss away usually you check here here or over here but they will never check over here and by the time they're dead these are all the tips and everything you need to know to actually clear and hold angles in valorant make sure to subscribe like and comment if you enjoyed this video i will try to post more soon either montages or tips in valorant so yeah see you in the next video